In this lesson, we'll focus on spring constants. Now we can actually connect different springs in two ways. We may use a series connection or a parallel connection. For these connections, the calculation of the equivalent or effective spring constant will vary. Let's first look at a series connection. Now in this example, we have two springs in series and then we have the spring constant of the first spring equivalent to k1 and then we also have the spring constant of the second spring equivalent to k2. Now to get the equivalent spring constant which is k, we have this formula. So to get the effective spring constant, we will equate 1 over k with the summation of 1 over k1 plus 1 over k2. Uh, by the way, this is simply the summation of 1 over kn because let's say you have three springs you will actually add another one over k for the third spring now for series connections if you don't want this formula and then you have a singular force p then k will just be the force over the total elongation considering the two springs this is another way and so next let's move on to springs laid parallel to each other so our figure will look like this now this configuration shows three different springs laid in a parallel connection in this case the spring constant will be the total of all individual spring constants. So if this is k1, this is k2, and this is k3, then the effective or equivalent spring constant will be k equals k1 plus k2 plus k3. Or simply, that's the summation of k sub n. Now this lesson is important because during my time, this came out in the board exam. However, only the formula was asked. However, in the future, perhaps there will be problems that will involve these calculations. And so to better understand how these are applied, let's try to solve this problem. Now in here, we have three springs with their respective spring constants. Now we have k1 equal to 25 kN per meter and then k2 equal to 20 kN per m and also k3 equal to 15 kN per meter. Now let's first try to solve letter A. When the springs are laid in series, what is the equivalent spring constant? If we'll try to look at our figure, we'll have this. Now for letter A, since we have a series connection, then we have this figure. Now this is our first spring which has a spring constant of k1 and then for the second spring we have k2 and then for the third spring we have k3. Now recall that for series connections, the equivalent spring constant will be 1 over k equivalent that's equal to 1 over k1 plus 1 over k2 plus 1 over k3 since we have 3 springs. So we now have 1 over k. Uh, let's just treat k as the effective spring constant. This is 1 over 25 for the first spring and then plus 1 over 20 for the second spring plus 1 over 15 for the last spring. And so to solve k, let's just use our calculators. We have 1 over x is equal to 1 over 25 plus 1 over 20 plus 1 over 15. And so this is now 6.38. So this is 6.38 kn per m. This is now the effective spring constant. Now for letter b, when the springs are laid parallel to each other, what is the resulting spring constant? Now for this problem, we have this configuration. The springs are actually parallel. And so this has a value of k1, and then this has a spring constant of k2, while this has a spring constant of k3. And so what's gonna happen is, to solve the resulting spring constant, we'll just actually add the individual spring constants because we have a parallel connection. And so our k will be k1 plus k2 plus k3. And so this is 25 plus 20 plus 15. So we have 55 kn per m. This is now our spring constant. And so this is relatively easy to get compared to letter A. Now for the last problem, if springs 1 and 2 are laid parallel to each other, this is spring 1 and this is spring 2, and then they are connected to spring 3 in series, we need to find the equivalent spring constant. Now this problem may be difficult at first. However, since these two springs are in series, then we just need to get the equivalent spring constant of these two springs, and then once we get that, we need to treat this as a series. And so what this means is, we need the k equivalent for these two springs, and then this is k3, so for the entire system, since it's connected in parallel, then our equivalent spring constant will be 1 over k equals 1 over k equivalent for the first and second spring. Uh, let's just say this is 1 and 2. So this is 1 and 2 plus 1 over k for the third spring, which is simply 1 over k3. So this is for the whole system. And so remember that the whole system is in series. Now sir, how are we going to get the k equivalent for 1 and 2? To solve this, we need to add k1 and k2 because that's our formula for parallel connections. So the k equivalent for 1 and 2 is 
this is 25 and this is 20 so we have 25 plus 20 this is 45 k n per m and so now to solve k for the total system we have 1 over k that's equal to 1 over the k equivalent for 1 and 2 which is 45 so this is 45 and then plus 1 over k3 now k3 is 15 kilonewton per meter so this is 15 and then we can now solve k and so solving k we have 1 over x equals 1 over 45 plus 1 over 15 so this is now 11.25 and so k equals 11.25 kilonewton per meter this is now our answer